teach us about this moment. And from what I've seen of Christina Fett, that's what she walked around with her alias in America, is I this. thought you were talking about like some sort of like ice skater. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I didn't know that was what she was calling herself. Yeah, yeah, it's Fang Fang, but Christina Fang. I have to say, if I saw a Match.com, I'd check out bio. I'd swipe, which, which way you swipe on the Tinder, on the plenty of fish you didn't swipe it. Anyway, I would have kept her uh, around. Let's ask your girlfriend. <laughs> if the rumors are true, though, she helped push Swalwell, a man who ran a hilarious presidential campaign from obscurity. Which, before we continue, kind of makes me more mad <laughs> because you're going to have somebody running for president that was that had a spy in their, in their, basically in their, I guess their cabinet, committee, whatever, and they knew it and didn't think it was relevant. Yeah, she, he, she it got an intern in his office. Right, who was probably a Chinese spot. And, like I said, she was with him since basically the beginning. And you almost have to think, I know like, she drummed up a lot of Asian American support for his campaign. That was that was reported on. But you're going to tell me, I watched this man get mad about Donald Trump Jr. bumping into someone internationally who may have been a spy. Meanwhile, he was actually entertaining, uh, apparently in various ways, for years, an actual spy. From, from our, from, from, by the way, from our actual threat. So, uh, remember his, his line in the presidential campaign? I ignored I am, everything I out of that man's mouth. You and you are Eric Swalwell. So How we're all he... Swalwell. <laughs> we all, did, like, he, did he do that when he was with the Asian American for <laughs> well, <laughs> You are Eric Swalwell. Well, I guess after he went to like <laughs> Pornhub and said, here's my porn name, Swalwell. They, they kicked him out. <laughs> And he figured he's just going to use Swalwell. I, guess I honestly kind of feel bad for her. She was working hard for that promotion with the Chinese Communist Party, or they underrated her. I mean, she got stuck with a man who farts on television and then looks like through the screen like you did. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you're in a nation of a billion people. I can't imagine you even stand out as a woman. So, but I mean, this may have been her big break. How was she... She was getting stuck with those Midwest mares. Evidently, she got busted during a sexual encounter in a car. So we're Only the classiest spies do that, by the way. <laughs> Can't even afford a hotel. I don't think I ever. I don't, I don't think I've seen James Bond bang out somebody in a car. <laughs> At least he had the decency to take him to a to a hotel. <laughs> he, and if he did, his he, car could probably turn into a hotel. Did it everywhere. His car probably could turn into a hotel. Yeah. I mean, now Swalwell, who's. Oh. 